Good morning, McAvenue School, Mr. Domini here handling the McAvenue morning announcements. Today is Friday, September 20th, 2024. Thank you once again for joining me for the Friday edition of McAvenue's morning announcements. That's the edition right at the end of our week to wrap up all of the good work that we've done for one full week at school. Lots to cover, some new information, some updated information, and some celebrations. So let's get to it. On Friday, it is all different for morning announcements because take a look at that graphic we have mario on a pizza surfboard when you see that type of a graphic that involves pizza that's right it's pizza day at mcavenue once again free pizza for you it is the best pizza around you know how we roll here at mcavenue we take our pizza game very serious and you have two options today one Standard cheese, as usual, that option is available every single day. We also have today's specialty pizza. That's right, the Big Mac pizza. That involves a little bit of um, hamburger meat on top. It involves that special sauce. It is delicious. So if you want to experiment, go with the Big Mac pizza. If you don't want to experiment and you want to stick with traditional, go with the cheese. Either way, you can't go wrong. You know Mr. Domino likes to experiment, and I'm going with Big Mac today. I'll be down in the cafeteria checking in. I can't wait to see which one you pick, but remember, don't be late for lunch. Free pizza. McAvenue has the best pizza around. Mwah. Delicious. It's going to be amazing. Let's start like we always do, coming together as one unified collective school, showing our ultimate sign of respect. You know it by reciting the Pledge of Allegiance. So let's stand up. Turn your voice off, put your right hand over your heart, make sure to face the flag that's in your classroom or learning space, and we will begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Nice job, everyone, showing your ultimate sign of respect. That's right, it's weather update time. We're going to cover the Friday weather as well as a quick... Uh, coverage of the Saturday and Sunday weather to wrap up our week. Today is Friday, September 20th, like I just mentioned. 66 degrees today. It's going to be overcast, slight chance of a rain shower. It's already rained a little bit this morning, so keep your eyes open out the window right around your recess time. Hopefully, fingers crossed, you'll be able to get outside and enjoy some fresh air if the rain holds off, but if it doesn't, you'll have to roll with some indoor recess, so stay tuned. Take a look outside right before your uh, recess time is scheduled. And here's the weekend. Top number on the 21st, that's Saturday, 65 degrees. Going to be a little overcast, light chance of rain. And on Sunday, 66, you're going to have some clouds and some sun. So it looks like a decent weekend overall. Remember, it's very important for you to get outside, exercise your body, get some fresh air in your lungs. That's even going for a walk, going to the park. You figure it out, but the weather is going to be great for you to get outside and enjoy the time. Um, it's going to be amazing. All right. So it is a back-to-school bash. Uh, that has been rescheduled, as you know. It was supposed to happen tonight uh, from 5 to 6.30, but we're moving it because the weather is going to be a little bit iffy today, and we want to make sure that the weather looks good. So the weather right now looks like it's going to be okay. Next Wednesday, that is September 25th from 5 to 6.15. We had to take 15 minutes off of it because we're running out of daylight. Um, it gets darker um, sooner, so we want to make sure that we have some light here over in the parking lot next to the school. So mark your calendar. Parents already know I sent everything out, but I'll also remind everyone, uh, come over. It's free of charge. It's going to be amazing. All your teachers will be there. We're going to have a lot of games, lots of activities, some cool food options, all of these things. It's going to be amazing. So hopefully we will see you there for the rescheduled Back to School Bash on Wednesday, September 25th. Really, really cool. This is your yoga pose of the week. Reminder, remember, we practiced a new technique called the ocean breath. 
It involves deep breathing and visualizing using your mind and thinking of those nice calm beach with nobody on it and that ocean wave coming over and crashing down. We are not doing it today for the sake of time because we're going to get our bodies and minds working together as one at the very end in a very fun way, celebrating all the hard work we've accomplished with something that we call Friday Dance Party. But if you want to do the ocean breath, feel free to do it as an individual student or as a collective class. You can work that out uh, with your teacher. But if you need to do it, do it. Stay tuned for the Monday edition of Morning Announcement. There'll be a brand new yoga pose. McAvenue's joke of the day. Let's get to it. Here we go. Today's joke is why did the apple stop in the middle of the street. So it's apple season, as everybody knows. We had some apples out at the main office at McAvenue. Right now it's apple picking time. It's apples, apples, apples. So this joke is appropriate. Again, why did the apple stop in the middle of the street? I don't even know why the apple would be in the middle of the street. I don't even know if the apple can move like a vehicle in the middle of the street. I don't know. But for the sake of the joke, why did the apple stop in the middle of the street? All right. Do you have your guess prediction or suggestion locked in your mind? All right. So the apple stopped in the middle of the street because it ran out of juice. That's right, it ran out of juice. So it didn't run out of this type of juice. It didn't run out of apple juice. That's not what we're talking about for the joke. It ran out of juice like this. That's right, boom. There it is, an apple vehicle with a worm driving, and unfortunately, that apple vehicle ran out of juice, ran out of gas, and had to stop in the middle of the street. Look at the worm, still happy, still hanging in. They got a little bow tie on. Hey, listen, the, the, maybe the worm uh, practiced the ocean breath, right? Relaxing a little bit, staying calm, even though that apple ran out of juice and they're stuck in the middle of the street. All right, so that's McAvenue's joke of the day. Remember to share it with family and friends to get them to smirk, to get them to smile, and better yet, to get them to laugh. The whole idea of doing these jokes, starting your day off with a smile on your face, and then you can make someone else's day later on by telling them the same joke. That's what Mr. Domina does for you, tease you up so that you can uh, be a positive member of your family, your friend group, however you choose to do it, but that is a good joke to share out with everyone else. Stay tuned for the Monday edition, brand new joke. It's birthday time at McAvenue, and we simply cover the Friday birthdays and Saturday birthdays to end our week. Friday, September 20th, that's today. It's Charlie's birthday in room 301. Daylina's birthday in room 207 and Nelfry's birthday in room 108. Happy birthday, everyone. And tomorrow, Saturday, September, spelling mistake. Take a look. Spelling mistake alert. I have mi misspelled September. The E belongs before the P. So, Take a look, boop, 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 boop. I called it before you, so one point for Mr. Domina. Anyways, it is Alice's birthday uh, tomorrow um, on September 21st in room 103 and the one and only Miss Obden's birthday. So happy birthday, everyone on this list. Happy birthday, everyone that we celebrated. Let's do our birthday celebration round of applause. Get your hands ready to go so we can, oh, so we can launch these birthdays in full McAvenue style. All right, all right. This birthday, this birthday presentation, a little dicey, right? Spelling mistake. I opened up my sound effect board. We already had the round of applause there, but we're going to power through it. Uh, stay tuned. Monday edition, brand new birthdays. We're just going to cover the Sunday birthdays, the Monday birthdays, and the Tuesday birthdays to launch our week. Um, do we do the Tuesday birthdays on the Monday edition? I don't know if we do. Maybe we do. You'll have to tune in on that Monday edition to see if, if we're going to go to Tuesday or just stop at Sunday and Monday. All right. But happy birthday, everybody on this list. It is good news time here at McAvenue. Take a look. Those are my friends in room 204, first grade friends in particular. Take a look at the picture. They did a science lesson exploring light and shadow, right? So what they did was they used flashlights and turned the lights off with their brand new window shades that they have that darken the classroom. And they used flashlights to create shadows and shadow designs, which was really, really cool. Very cool hands-on activity. As you know, McAvenue really prioritizes getting science and social studies in consistently during the week. We're one of the few schools in Lowell that do that, and this is the end result. Hands-on learning, engaging learning that's going on, and important learning, um, to say the least. So nice job, my friends in room 204. This is unbelievable. We are already at an ST Math good news story. If many of our McAvenue veteran students here that have been at McAvenue for many years, they already know that kid. That's right. That's the one and only Jefferson, and he is like the ST Math champion of champions of champions at McAvenue, and he has already hit 100% progress. Unbelievable. 100% progress on ST Math, which means he's doing it at school and doing it at home as well. But I have to give a shout out for Jefferson. I can't believe it. Impressive work and impressive commitment, so congratulations. 
That is all the good news stories that we had, and those are two really good ones. So get your celebration, congratulations, round of applause, hands ready to go. There we go, there we go. Good shout out, I like that. Stay tuned for the Monday edition. We'll have more good news stories. Could be some ST math, could be some other things that are going on. I have some pictures that I took this week that I'll share out on Monday um, in a variety of classrooms. So stay tuned for that. I love celebrating all the hard work that we have here. And speaking of ST math, there he is, the one and only Gigi. It's our second mascot here at McAvenue. We know that we have Leo the Lion is our primary mascot. We also have Gigi here at school and this is a very special video as we launch into the school year i know everyone right now is starting to get st math up and running and your per percent progress and puzzle completion is going up going up going up and so this very important video with a very special guest um uh, we'll get to it so the video is going to be led you know by the math boss at McAvenue. that is um mrs bellaros and it could have a special guest so let's get to it. A little video addition here. I'll turn up the volume. And here we go. Ahoy, mateys. Guess who's back for another adventure this year? It's none other than Gigi, our fearless, math-loving penguin. But this year, Gigi has sailed in with a whole new quest. And we're about to embark on a math adventure like no other. Oh, there's Gigi. <laughs> yes. That's right. Welcome to Gigi's Islands, where hidden treasure isn't gold. It's the joy of solving math puzzles. Get ready to explore uncharted waters, solve tricky challenges, and unlock treasure chests filled with math brilliance. This year, Gigi has charted a new course with ST Math. We'll be solving puzzles and cracking codes that will lead us to hidden math gems. Gigi's ready to help you find the treasure with every step and maybe even do a little pirate jig when we solve the toughest problems. Oh, Gigi, getting loose. So, who's ready to sail into a brand new year of learning with Gigi? We've got the island, the map, and the pirate crew. All we need is you. McGavin was ready to discover math treasures with Gigi, and we can't wait to see what we'll unlock together. Ooh, look at that treasure chest. All right, there we go. We have a video edition. First video edition of this school year. That's right, Gigi's Island is in full effect. I've heard some feedback from students. Some students really like Gigi Island. Some students are getting used to Gigi Island. And some of my older students here are saying they're not 100% sold on Gigi Island. So we'll see how it unroll, unfolds. But remember, log into ST Math when you're supposed to and start completing those puzzles. We're going to do a variety of challenges and a lot of fun things going on as well as recognizing students that have done an amazing job just like we did with Jefferson earlier in this edition log in ST math that's right you know we're the top school in Lowell two years in a row with percent progress and total puzzles completed we're not only the top school in Lowell we're one of the top schools in Massachusetts and we are one of the top schools in the United States of every school district that uses ST Math, we are recognized as one of the best. So let's continue that. Make sure you log on and you could be recognized as well. That video is really, really cool. I like that. All right, so when you see that purple teal flower screen just for today, it is time to talk about McAvenue's core values. What's the first one, everyone? That's right, it's respect. And the second one, nice and loud, bingo, it is responsibility. And the final one, that's right, it's safety, you nailed it. So on Friday, it is dealer's choice challenge. What that means is you pick a core value, you set a goal that covers Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, today and over the weekend. Um, be prepared. Don't just pick the core value and say, I'm gonna focus on responsibility and that's it. You have to think about what you wanna specifically do under responsibility for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday so that you can check in with yourself to say, am I doing this, all right? Don't just pick the core value. You have to pick what you wanna do underneath that core value. All right, so be prepared. I pick five kids at random on Friday. I stop them, I pull them aside in the hallway, go into the cafeteria during specials. I go into the classroom and I ask five kids, what's your core value dealer's choice?
biggest challenge going to be? Be prepared to tell me the core value and what you want to do. Double thumbs up if you think you can do that. Boom, you know I like Dealer's Choice Challenge. And remember, when we put respect, responsibility, and safety all together, that's right, we will make, uh, continue to make, pardon me, McAvenue the best school that we all know. Normally, fist bump, sign out, and we get on with our day, but not today. I already mentioned it. It's Friday, and it's time for Friday Dance Party. That apple already getting loose, dancing around, because they know it's Friday Dance Party. So stand up as I get the music ready to go. If you want to just watch and watch everybody else dance, that's fine. If you have room on the rug area to get loose, you can do that. If you want to dance off to the side next to your desk, feel free to do that. Um, this is going to be sticking with the BTS theme. I will let you know the name of the song and the artist that performs the song at the very end. We launched with BTS, and we're going to end with BTS. So here we go. Great song. Ooh, you know this one. Come on. All right, as I already mentioned, that's BTS, and the name of that song is Butter. Great song. So hopefully you enjoyed it. It's time to wrap up this edition of Friday Morning Announcements. Get on with our Friday and be amazing. Here we go, fist bump sign out. One, two, three. So go get them. <laughs> Go get them today, work hard today, laugh today, smile today. Remember your core value dealer's choice challenge today. Pick a core value, set a goal for yourself for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Let's enjoy the end of our week. Hopefully you'll get outside and get some fresh air. Remember, really work hard today. Be proud of the effort that you have here at the best school that we all know, and it is going to be great. You'll catch up with me in all the usual places, which is everywhere. Go get them, have some fun, and I'll see you soon. Take care.